Hey, this is Omar Sultan from Cisco here with another Blogger Tech Minute. We are here at VMworld 2009 in San Francisco. Today I'm joined by Ernesto and Dave. Would you like to introduce yourselves, guys? Sure, Ernesto Tay, Group Manager on the VMware side managing the Cisco Alliance. Uh, David Graham, uh, Cloud Customer Advocate for EMC Corporation. So we'll be taping one of these every day, uh, giving you an idea of some of the cooler things that we've seen and some of the things we think you should be checking out. So absolutely top of that list is the data center, which is kind of unique uh, for this VM world. It's uh, actually one of the first times we've seen, our customers have seen the UCS deployed in scale. We have 16 full systems, about 512 blades, 4,096 cores, uh, which is kind of cool. And uh, you know, the, the, in the spirit of collaboration, all three of our companies have uh, contributed uh, a major portion to the, uh, the lab and the IT infrastructure that a lot of this show runs on. Ernesto, uh, from your perspective, how's it been? So it's been a huge uh, labor of love, I think, by uh, the, both the Cisco and the VMware teams uh, to try to get up and running. So all in, for all intents and purposes, this is the data center that's going to be powering all our labs for the entire show. So it's an actual data center you can walk up to, almost touch. Uh, we have anywhere between the different lab sessions close to 40,000 virtual machines running. There's about 37 uh, terabytes of RAM memory, over 380 terabytes of storage, thanks to the folks at EMC. And it's just really our one of the foundation pieces we're using to with the, the to show the theme of this conference, which is Hello Freedom. What is possible through virtualization? Yeah, and it's you know from my perspective, the, one of the cool things is we're bringing a data center out from behind the closed doors that mm -hmm. it typically is, you know, is in and bringing it out and putting it in front of the people and saying, hey, this is how we work together to kind of develop common solutions and a common platform for, you know, for the labs, the instructor led both in the self paced labs and the, you know really kind of bringing it out and, and laying it in front of people. Yeah. Very very cool. And Dave, I think you're in the same boat we are. And this, uh, you know, this is really the first time for a lot of folks to get a chance to look at the VMAX system, play with it, you yeah. know, get some real in-depth understanding of uh, the potential of the system. Yeah, take a look at the pretty lights. You know, you got the purple thing going <laughs> running on the front there. But you know, again, it's with the introduction of VMAX this year as being primarily focused on you know horizontal scale, which was provided by UCS and provided by vSphere. You know, it really kind of drives that storage, you know, that the storage point home from from EMC perspective while also supporting hand in hand, you know, the Cisco scale out messages and the VMware uh, scale out messages as well. Yep. Our companies are working very hard to, you know, make your data center experience a lot more um, a lot simpler, a lot easier, and that even goes down to aesthetics. So we work very hard to have nice, cool, glowing LEDs, <laughs> so when you're in your data center, you're looking to troubleshoot, you know, have a very aesthetically pleasing experience. And you're feeling yeah. a little cold in the Moscone halls, you can walk by and just get out of that nice little touch of warm air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if, you're, if, you're in, if, you're, if you're in Moscone, bring some marshmallows, bring some chocolate graham crackers, we're gonna do some s'mores on the side, and if you get hungry, it'll, it'll be good. So, um, you know, I was in Vegas last year, and um, you know, I think the big difference between that and the thing I'm actually looking forward to this year is the shift in focus. So last year was a lot about what's potential. You know, we talked about the 1000V as an announcement, and said, you know, these are some of the cool things we could do. You know, there was a lot of uh, murmurings and questions about what the next generation of ESX should look like. And I think the big shift is we've gone from what's potential to what's doable. And I think, uh, and I'd love to hear you guys' uh, feedback on this, but I think. Uh, folks that attend are really going to be able to go home with, with um, you know, stuff they can actually deploy, the, you know, practical, tangible things they can do to help their data centers run faster, cheaper, cooler, those kinds of things. I mean, yeah, last year, I think almost to the day was when uh, Cisco announced the Nexus 1000V, so the first uh, distributed switch, uh, virtual distributed switch, uh, built on the vSphere platform. It basically went to public and uh, customers were able to download it starting in June. We've had some really good feedback from all our customers uh, around the ability of extending the virtualization from the storage the server now into the network side. And now looking forward, it, we actually have these sessions uh, throughout the event where customers are not going to be able to understand how they can leverage the Nexus 1000B or the VMAX, but also the UCS platform, not just from a theoretical standpoint, but actually implementations and how some customers are using it. So it'll be a, it's a nice little transition on the, on the growth track. Yeah, and I, you know, it's very, very important, especially for people that are looking and exploring at virtualization mm -hmm. technologies yeah. to be able to get their hands on it, and be able to play it in a very, very real, very, very live environment, you know, for what it's worth here. And being able to take that back and, you know, making the case for virtualization, the savings and optimizations that come along with it, and looking at different platforms that support it, you know, and how that will actually function in their environments. Very, very powerful. Yep, there absolutely seems to be a, a new maturity to the conversation, right? Mm -hmm. We're really talking about a lot more of the pieces in place being announced, being delivered. I mean, look, really just among star companies in terms of storage functionality, maturity of what's in the hypervisor, you know, richness in terms of networking and IO capabilities. Uh, no, I think it's really 
developed into a, a platform for companies to grow on. And like, you know, our little child is growing up, and I think it's kind of yeah. cool. It's, I mean, it's really interesting to see uh, the customers how they've uh, taken previous. Uh, solutions that they couldn't deploy, let's say fault tolerance because it was a hardware cost, a very costly solution, and now through the, some of the features in the vSphere, they're actually able to do that on a software basis at a very lo lower cost point. So it actually helps them increase the availability of their business. Uh, the integration that the three companies are doing, you know, the certification and having both the, the VMAX and the UCS as uh, VMware certified products means that customers can go in and actually use it from day one in their existing VMware environment. So that I think is, is a, it's a minor detail, but a significant one, especially when it comes to customer deployments. Absolutely. Dave, any final thoughts? Uh, no, I think it's, again, speaking to the accessibility message that we, we you know, the Hello Freedom message, and you know, being able to bring that yeah. all up, up front and present it to the people, as it were, and give them something real to deal with, and, you know, from cool. all aspects. Of it. So we'll be back tomorrow, if we get fired, someone else will be back tomorrow to talk to you about some of the other cool stuff <laughs> that you can uh, see here that'll help that march towards data center virtualization. So thanks for sticking with us, and talk to you soon. Thanks. Yep. Bye.